beginning today, jury selection begins in the trial of two men charged with killing a Nashville nurse on I-440. Our Cole Johnson is live from the courthouse this morning. So, Cole, what are these guys facing if they're convicted? Good morning to you both. Well, Devontae Hill and James Cowan could be facing life in prison without parole if the DA is successful in this case. And we want to give you a little bit of background information if you are unfamiliar with this. So, well, starting today, it is going to be the first day when we select a jury. And to give you some background on the case, we've been following since late 2020, where Caitlin Kaufman was driving during rush hour on I-440. Six bullets were shot into her car, one of them hitting and killing her. She was able to pull over but couldn't call 911 before she died. Hill and Cowan were in another car, and police say one of them shot her. There is a key informant who told police what happened and turned in the gun. Jacquez Merrill Odom got more than 35 grand in reward money. And we've been following this case every step of the way, including a hearing a few months ago that got a lot of attention. It's clear emotions were running high with this case as we saw Kaufman's dad lunge at Hill and Cowan. He was ex escorted out of the room. And we're going to have continued coverage on this case. And speaking of which, I want to bring in Nick Barris. He's going to be heading up our gavel to gavel co coverage. And Nick, I want you to walk me through what are we expecting today and going forward? <laughs> Yeah, Cole, it's good to see you this morning. The trial we expect to last much of this week, and as you said, yes, jury selection will begin this morning at 9 a.m. Now, this case is a bit different than what we typically see, considering there are two suspects, and they will be tried together, each with their own attorney. As far as what we know, most of the evidence here is circumstantial. There is the confidential informant you talked about, Cole, with actually a credibility problem. That man is locked up right now on drug charges. And Metro detectives will have cell phone pings showing the suspects Hill and Cowan were in the area when the shooting happened. But as far as we know, no eyewitnesses or TDOT video of the shooting or any hard physical evidence. The case files, though, we should say, have been sealed all along, so there may be some surprises no one knows about. It will be interesting to see how long it takes exactly to select this jury, considering how much pretrial publicity um, there was leading up to this, of course. Now, once chosen, the 12 jurors and two alternates, all right? They will not be sequestered. If seated early today, it's possible we could start with testimony by this afternoon. Now, our gavel to gavel coverage begins today at 8 a.m. with Morning Line, a special edition of that on News Channel 5 Plus. And then once the trial starts, everything will be streamed live on our apps as well as on Facebook at newschannel5.com. That'll be me and News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo.